Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Thursday, May the 7th, and it's 7.25 p.m. Well, I found in one of my, um, in the comments section, under the video I did about, um, well, I, the title is sharing a video with some very important viral information. Or you could take that one in two ways. Um, but anyway, it was a video that was shared on American Joe show. But um, this is not about the video. It's about a comment. <laughs> okay, so let me just go to the comment. All right, Laurie Price posted in the comments that her mom had a rapture dream. And she has been talking to her mom about Jesus. Her mom was a Mormon, but I guess sounds to me like she had quit going. So let me just read her dream. And I'm just praising the Lord because he is trying to reach her. But anyway, let me read this and then I'll, you'll see what, um, why I need to share it. My mom had a rapture dream. Oh my goodness. Just going to share it here. And would love to hear your comments. Okay. I've been witnessing to my mom. Who lives alone in West Texas. And last night. She had a dream. That she was shown. Lots of tractor trailers, not attached to drivers yet, and they were one-fourth filled with dead bodies in white body bags, but she had a knowing that many, many more were filled to the top with dead bodies. Then her dream skips to she's in a big, huge open area with small mountains around her and people were being lifted up in the air and she could see their features clearly, but their bodies were translucent and they did have clothes on but they were all very spaced apart, arms to the side of them, and being lifted up, floating in a straight line. There was no sound, and she was watching or being shown these two different scenes. People, my mom listens to me, but she has been Mormon her whole life. She said the dream was very different from anything she had ever had before and wanted to ask our thoughts on it. So I am posting it. She is getting away from any organized religion even though she doesn't go to a church. She just means Anything like Mormon or Catholic, like her parents, etc. And she listens to me now when I witness to her about Jesus and what it really means to believe in him. I hope and pray that anyone reading this responds as I would like to give her... Um... I would like to give her other believers' thoughts on this too, not just mine. Thank you and God bless. I'm so happy Jesus gave her this dream. Amen. That's what I've been praying that Jesus would give all. I used to pray all Americans everywhere. And then I said, well, Lord, I know it's a tall order, but can I just say the whole world? Because there's people out there that 
some folks may not be praying for, like in Muslim countries, you know, how many people are, I know a lot of them are converting left and right, is what I've heard, many, many Muslims, and they give a testimony that Jesus appeared to me, like, see, he's mentioned in the Quran, so they might have had, like, um, you know, heard that he was a savior, but of course they didn't believe it. But then I don't know what the Quran says about him. I've heard it, but I don't remember. Anyway, the point is they're, they're converting a lot. So they may have like a non-Christian Mormon may have a Christian relative that's converted praying for them but I'm just saying I started asking the Lord to please please give people dreams or visions or some kind of supernatural sign I said it ain't nothing but a thing for you you you've done it to for a lot of people so the Lord knows whose heart is seeking and who's got a heart of stone that has just, I know that satanic priests, uh, even a high priest can be saved. I listened to a, a, what did they used to call them? Eight track, yeah, eight track cassettes. Videos would be put on those. <laughs> Does anybody remember those VCRs? We used to call them video cassette recorders. You could put one in, like putting in a little cassette tape, and you could set your TV to record on them. And then uh, you could label them. A lot of the sets, you could buy a set of them, and you'd get a, a thing of labels so you could, if you didn't want to copy over it, you could, like if it was a movie, you could record the movie and have your own movie on a video cassette. <laughs> Boy, have things changed. Now, I don't even know if you can even still get them. Maybe at a pawn shop. <laughs> but anyway, that's really off topic. Um, I don't even know why I was talking about that. Um, so put your comments <laughs> below. If you have a knowing from the Lord or a really strong belief that you think it means this or that. I mean, to me, the first part is a bit pro prophetic. It's telling her what is happening in at least some areas of the world or will happen soon. And then the second part tells her, shows her, proves to her that there is a rapture. Now, you know, with, with it being quiet, there's no trumpets. She didn't hear trumpets. She wasn't going up. So as of the point of this dream... Either the Lord just allowed her to see what was going to happen at the rapture. Or he was showing her that she's not going in that first rapture. What do you think? So, uh, I know the Lord uses believers to show what others will go through if they don't repent. But it doesn't necessarily mean they are not going. They're just getting to see through the eyes of someone who would be left behind what's going to happen after people go up. You know, like all the accidents and the chaos and... Oh, how cute is that? Oh, oh, my baby fell asleep on that pink piece of material. He doesn't mind pink, 
But you know what? They're colored blind anyway. So anyway, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection, my computer and myself, and over each and every one of you, your devices, and your internet connections. And I hope I didn't get to rambling too much. <laughs> but um, I thought this was so cool that her mom is now listening to her and if she can just lead her through the sinner's prayer or even if her mom will just on her own with the Lord, you know, you don't have to repeat a prayer after somebody to be saved. I don't know if everybody realizes that or not, but we on our own can go to the Lord and say, what folks have been telling us to say, basically, that you know you're a sinner, you know you need saving, forgive me of my sins, come into my heart, you know, the basics, you know, that we have to say that we admit we're a sinner in need of salvation. We believe he died and rose again to save us, and we accept his uh, sacrifice on the cross, and want him to come into our heart and make us new again and give us the gift of the Holy Spirit, fill us full of the Holy Spirit. I think if people would lead, if you're leading someone to receive Jesus as your, their Savior, you should go ahead at that point and have them ask to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And any gifts he wants to give for evidence, I mean, the only evidence I know of is praying in tongues. And others will agree, disagree with me. It's not goosebumps, people. It isn't goosebumply feelings. The Holy Spirit can lead you and guide you and, and uh, advise you tried to get me to break up with my boyfriend and I was just born again. I was not yet filled with the Spirit. I didn't pray in tongues and yet I knew God was trying to test me. He, It was my very first test and I failed. I didn't. I tried but he wouldn't let me. And I just said, oh, okay, and put the ring back on. It was, anyway, I don't know where I got off on that. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to let you go, and I will talk to you all later. God bless each and every one of you. And don't forget, turn off your Wi-Fi and your cell phones when you don't need them. Okay, bye for now. I'll talk to you later.